All right, I am fixing to make my porch look like it should. It is messy winter porch and it is fixing to get beautiful and summery.
winter wreath. Time to go. Okay, I have got my porch cleaned up, finally. Finally. And I feel much better. It looks much better. <laughs> I planted some new flowers. I got a couple of ferns from the farmer's market like mom has on her porch. And I've got them planted. And... Uh, the pots are up in stands, and then I have these, I don't know what you call them, these decorative scrolly thingies behind them to make them show up more. And I like that. I thought that turned out pretty. I got some new pillows, and they are very country. <laughs> I like them. <clears throat> some might say... Grandma, but you know, I think they are absolutely beautiful and they're so colorful. So colorful. Um, I got me a fern and then in my pots this year, I haven't got my flowers yet, but I'm going to plant herbs. And of course, you know me, I have to have my lavender, especially on the porch so I can smell it. And the herbs smell so good, too. Oh, it's just a win-win with herbs. Well, you know, lavender actually is an herb. Did you know that? <clears throat> so I'm going to get some pretty flowers and put fill in the bare spots. And I did the same thing. Here, I'll show you the porch from this way. I have an actual spring wreath going on over there. <laughs> and another little sitting area here. I've got to get something to go in this pot, and more than likely, it will probably be lavender and some flowers. <clears throat> now, in my big pots this year, um, I put... I tried to save the old lavender. I mean, it's actually coming out. So I did that, planted new lavender, and then some good herbs. And what I'm wanting to do is find a really special recipe that uses each one of these herbs individually. I think that would be so much fun. Um, I have Italian oregano. Sage, lemon balm. Look how big this plant. This, I mean, this is one plant. And this one, which I'm excited about, pineapple sage. How about that? So, yeah, I want to find recipes that go with all of these herbs I bought. Um, here I have some more lemon balm. Somewhere I have, let's see, that's the pineapple sage. That's the lavender and that's the regular sage. I have lemon thyme somewhere. Um, but gosh, just, just brushing these. 
the smell that permeates out of them is just, oh, it's so beautiful. It smells so good. So, anyway, my porch definitely looks nicer. It looks like somebody actually lives here now. <laughs> oh, and I'm proud to have it done. There was a lot of um, pollen that I had to get off of everything. This is my gardening bench that I use all the time. I absolutely love it. So there you have it. A lovely place to sit outside and enjoy this beautiful spring. I'm so excited. found a record and brought it home and the thing actually works. We didn't even know if it worked or not. And the sound is amazing. Why is it playing different? Because I moved it just to test something. That's how it works? Well, no. I was just testing out something. Oh, so it didn't play the whole record? Uh-uh. Stop. No, there's not more, more songs, yeah. <laughs> Oh my 
kids are going coop in a lot. Man, there's bees in the box. I'm getting the bucket in the box. And you're like, huh? Is that bad or is this? I was just gonna give y'all a little info on the stereo. It was my mom and dad's. They were stationed and living in Paris, France. Um, they actually lived, get this, I thought, wow, <laughs> in an apartment in the Arc de Triomphe um, circle. Yeah, overlooking the Arc de Triomphe or Triomphe, whatever you wanna, however you wanna pronounce that. So yeah, they were living there. They were waiting on their furniture to be shipped to them, um, which she said took weeks and weeks and weeks back then because it all came on a ship. Um, and they were waiting for their house uh, right outside of Paris to become available. And so they went out and they found this stereo. They were sleeping on army cots, had no furniture, they had a cooler for their refrigerator, <laughs> but they found this stereo and being the uh, young whippersnappers that they were, uh, they bought that. That was the first thing they bought over there. And they said they could, uh, it entertained them for hours. They would dance every night. And let me tell you, my mom and dad were the best dancers. I mean, I, they were just magical when they danced. They were so good at it and uh, just effortless, you know. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was a cute story. They got that even though they were sleeping on army cots. Um, and it, like she said, entertained them for hours. How romantic. This is a picture of my mom and dad. Can't you just see them with their stereo dancing? <laughs> hey everybody, I have got a really easy, easy recipe for y'all. It can be something so easy and quick. You can do it spur of the moment for Easter and uh, let's just cut to the chase and get to it. I can't wait to see how this turns out. We will keep our fingers crossed because it's so easy. Yes, I know, I keep saying the word easy. Trust me on this, <laughs> it's easy. All right, here is the recipe. A 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and a box of angel food cake. That's it. That's the recipe. <laughs> I told you it was easy. All you do is dump this in a bowl. Dump this, juice and all, in the bowl with it. You get your little hand mixer out or whatever you have, your stand mixer. I'm just going to use my little hand mixer in this case. Um, you uh, blend it at on low for 30 seconds and then on medium for one minute you put your oven at 350 degrees and you cook it for 40 to 45 minutes you take it out of the oven you turn it upside down on a plate and you leave it for two to three hours before you pull your pan off that's it that's all there is to it so, how easy, oh, and you do not, this, this is even easier, you do not grease your pan. You dump it straight into an ungreased pan, uh, ungreased tube pan. You do have to have a tube pan for this, but um, 
Anywho, let's give it a shot. all beat it's thick it's like <laughs> looks like marshmallow cream oh yummy if it's any indication of the raw mixture that is delicious um, if that's any indication of the way it's gonna taste when it gets done yummy <laughs> okay there it is all in the pan Let's pop it in the oven. Okay, so that was the quickest and easiest cake I have ever made. Hmm. So far, so good. Now, if it will just pass the taste test, we will have a winner recipe. Like I said, the batter is delicious. Mm. Mm. I mean, it is delicious. I cannot wait to taste the done cake. The baked cake, done cake, whatever. Anyway, you get the gist. This is fabulous. <laughs> Moment of truth. Ooh. <laughs> looky, looky. That looks delish. Oh, wow. All right. Let's get that puppy out. All right. I got it out, I got it out of the oven. And it said to t turn it upside down. Right. When you get it out of the oven, on to... A plate and it's supposed to sit there for two to three hours until it falls out of that pan so fingers crossed it's gonna fall out of that pan it smells really good y'all so far so good Ta -da! three hours later look at this pretty little cake I did it. It came out perfect. Now I had to take my knife right here after three hours and running around the edges like this when the cake was in the pan and then run it around this. I did that. I tipped it back over and I kind of bonked it on the plate and pop it popped out so it works now all we gotta do is the taste test it smells wonderful oh, I'm so proud oh.